and welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to install M.2 drives in the OWC U2 shuttle. We've already gathered our materials and are working on a soft static free work surface. We're now ready to begin. The first thing we need to do is remove these two Phillips screws from this side of the shuttle. as well as these two on the other side. You can then remove the cover from the unit itself. You can install up to four M.2 SSDs in the U2 shuttle. You'll need to remove the Phillips retaining screw that corresponds to a slot you wish to install a drive in. For this video, we're going to install M.2 drives in all four slots, so we're going to remove all four screws. There's a pin in each slot that lines up with the notch in the M.2 drive itself. Align the two and slide the drive into the slot until it's fully seated. Then, secure the drive into place with one of the Phillips retaining screws you removed earlier. Repeat the process for any other drives you need to install. On the bottom of the heatsink, there's a thermal pad which will come into contact with the drives when the unit is assembled. This may cause the heatsink to be raised slightly when trying to line up the screws. You can resolve this by pressing down on the heatsink as you replace the four screws you removed earlier. Two on each side. Your OWC U2 shuttle is now ready to install, format, and use.